liberty torture it's not genocide it's payback if if it was if it were genocide that could be accomplished within the next hour uh, uh, liberty to uh, uh, twitcher here I'm gonna show you something ready are you ready for this liberty twitcher good thing we did this uh, yesterday we did a comic book stream yesterday reading Joe Sacco's Palestine that he created nine issue miniseries in 1993 all the way to 1995 it was compiled into two volumes in 1996 compiled as a trade paperback in 2001 reprinted i believe in 2003 and a new uh there's so much demand for it there's a new uh what do you call it hard case uh hardcover edition being released in 2024 i need to get my hands on it and joe Sacco has been asked as to what's going on in Israel and Palestine what Israel is doing to Gaza to West Bank to Lebanon stuff and Joe Sacco came up with the following two pages because he's a comic book artist regarding what's taking place this is page one this is page two and I'm gonna read this for you right and then I'm gonna do a little commentary regarding this top panel for you and for anyone watching gang apologies if you know you might have seen this yesterday but let's give this to liberty twitcher right uh because he's actually coming up here saying liberty twitcher you're a typical jew hater people like you been around forever uh liberty twitcher my partner is jewish i have jewish family you're an idiot but i'm gonna read this for you anyway okay this is joe Sacco, the artist writer of palestine the person that's uh, an icon in the comic book industry because he gave birth to comic book journalism this is what he wrote my initial response to Hamas's October 7 raid into Israel was paralysis the scale of the death of Israeli civilians let me uh, left me horrified and overwhelmed whatever justification I could accept for the military uh, like this is really small uh, component of the attack anyone who has followed events in the middle east even casually knew that israel israel's response would be swift and disproportionate but i was only theoretically prepared for the worst the reality of the result uh, assault on gaza as reported but a brave palestinian journalist still at their deadly post was almost beyond my comprehension as someone who has written and drawn much about the Palestinian issues surely I should say something in fact in sure I should say something in fact one of my friends in Gaza wrote me quote please raise the voice up against these crimes end quote his plea rattled in me in my head for weeks as I slowly prepare uh, slowly perhaps too slowly waited for my thoughts to congeal and now I present uh, I present them as I turn them out through the forum kindly provided to me by the comic journal and photographic books who without hesitation published my comic book series Palestine all those years ago and stuck with it through its entire low selling nine issue run so here my friend for whatever it's worth i raise my voice up it's a genocide or is it self-defense let's let's make everyone happy and say it say say it is both in that case we'll need a new terminology I propose genocidal self-defense that should give both sides something to work with right now remember this the first panel where he says he was horrified as to what was taking place on October 7th when we found out saw all the burnt cars at the festival and you know all these reports false reports by the way of rape beheading of children and stuff that's all been debunked so that was all Israeli Zionist propaganda right total Zionist propaganda bullshit it was such a huge lie that right now people are looking back at history and going wait a second what really happened during World War II so Zionist 
are Jews worst enemy right the the worst thing to happen to Judaism is Zionism right keep that in mind and keep in mind all the horrendous things that happened on October 7th and all the civilians that were murdered right keep that in mind you keeping that in mind now go to the gray zone look up the following two articles one article that the gray zone put out Max Blumenthal put out on October 27th was October 7th testimonials reveal Israel's military shelling um, Israeli citizens with tank missiles when Max Blumenthal through the gray zone put this out he got so much flack people he's he's uh, anti-semitic meanwhile Max Blumenthal is Jewish <laughs> so just people trying to wrap their heads around what's going on how could a Jew be speaking of such things how could they question the Zionist genocidal regime that must be anti-semitic you cannot question genocide when Zionists do it because if you question genocide when Zionists do it do it that's anti-semitic because Zionists attach themselves like fucking leeches to Judaism right that was their protection that was their shield against criticism right but the gray zone stuck stuck by it max blumenthal defended it aaron mate another jew defended this reporting and then the Haretz, a month later Haretz, a jewish israeli journal right news agency one of the largest in israel came out and confirmed what Max Blumenthal, the Gray Zone, was reporting that the Israeli government, the Zionists, the IDF, were responsible for the majority of civilian murders that took place on October 7th. And you want proof number one? Look into the Hannibal Directive. Proof number two, look at all those burnt cars at the festival on October 7th and realize that Gazans didn't have the military might, the weapons to be able to firebomb those cars. They went in there with guns, not rockets, right? And then we hear testimonials that, oh yeah, there was uh, Palestinians that were held up in houses holding a family hostage right and they were trying to cut a deal so they wouldn't be killed by the IDF and maybe give up the hostages for them to go back to Gaza or just be taken into custody and the IDF gave the orders to bomb those houses with tank shells hell with it after after the Jews that's what the Zionists said kill them the Hannibal directive kill them kill them right now go back to your whole liberty twitcher and if you're such a zionist i hope you join the idf and you go to the front lines in lebanon because hezbollah knows what to do with you okay they know what to do with the kinds their kind wazoo said it on sensor two Zionists are anti-Semitic and hope you get better yeah 